Here are the difference between road bike vs touring bike. So, let's get started. Number 1. Construction. Although the two bikes might look very similar, the construction differs depending upon their purpose. A road bike is generally constructed of aluminum or carbon because its primary function is to render speed. Aluminum provides great efficacy due to its lower weight. But, steel is the most common material for touring bikes to make them more durable for long expeditions. Number 2. Weight. You use road bikes to run errands or short run distances, where they provide a quick speed. As they use carbon and aluminum, they are less likely to support any extra weight other than cyclists. Your water bottle might go with you for the trip. The characteristic bulky weight of a touring bike is because of the strong and durable nature of steel. The sturdiness of steel makes these bikes more suitable for high-speed rides. Touring bikes are very well balanced. Number 3. Gearing. Gearing is the relation between the cadence of the bike and the rate at which the wheel turns. The gearing ratio of the touring bikes is much less to support them on a variety of terrains. If you are purchasing a touring bike, always look for easy and flexible gears. Stiff ones can pose a problem on uphill terrains. Number 4. Internal gear hubs versus derailers. Internal gear hubs are much easier to maintain and have greater reliability. Thus, on touring bikes, internal hubs are preferred as you don't have to worry about dirt, sand, or anything going inside the hub. They also make the shifting very easy. Wyo can shift the gears while not pedaling or are moving uphill. Commuters and travelers like to use internal gear hubs for mental peace as they are hassle-free. But, if you are looking for more variety in gear range, then internal gear hubs disappoint you. Derailers have much more gear range, making them a better option for uphill expeditions. Number 5. Rim Brakes. Rim brakes hold a sturdy grip on the rims of the wheels. The rim brakes are inexpensive, and you can find them even in remote areas. You can replace them. But, due to considerable friction, they wear out the wheel. Also, if the bike is heavy, the rim brakes are not fruitful in stopping the bike. Number 6. Handlebars. The touring bike's handlebars maintain the aerodynamic posture of the cyclist. The touring bike has three types of brakes, drop bars, flat bars, and butterfly bars. If you are new to cycling, you must avoid the drop bars as they are not stable due to their narrow design. But, they offer great aerodynamics for high-speed riding. Talking about the butterfly handlebars, they offer a variety of holding positions for cyclists. Thus as a beginner, they are a great option for they offer good access to brake levers. Last but not least, the flat handlebars have much greater control over the leverage.